As the owner and founder of one of the largest electric vehicle companies in the world, one thing that Elon Musk doesn't joke about is the technology that will revolutionize electric vehicles and solidify this technology for future generations. The largest challenge that electric vehicles face in their mass adoption is not necessarily the technology creating these vehicles, but rather the electricity that will fuel these cars. More importantly, how are we going to get more of it? More electric vehicles on the roads means more electricity that we need to charge them up and also more load on our currently existing grids. The demand for electricity is increasing. More importantly, the real question is, how do we increase the supply sustainably? Well, Elon Musk has a very simple answer to this question build more nuclear power plants. And not only build more nuclear power plants, but restart the ones that were closed down early due to political reasons. And these are the words of someone that has built the largest battery storage systems in the world. Technology that will someday in the future make wind and solar more reliable. But for now, Elon Musk alongside other industry leaders stand behind the scientific consensus that nuclear energy is the only way to meet our energy demands in a sustainable and carbon neutral way. Hey friends, my name is Osama Big. I have a background in nuclear engineering and on this channel I help demystify nuclear technologies by simplifying them. I also like to deep dive into innovative leaders across the world that are revolutionizing clean energy technologies like Elon Musk. In 2019 in the United States alone nuclear energy prevented around 479 million metric tons of carbon dioxide from entering our atmosphere by providing safe, clean, reliable and carbon-free electricity to the grid. That's the emissions equivalent of removing 100 million cars from the roads in that single year. That's the kind of large scale impact that nuclear energy has, even though it plays a very minor role in the United States energy grid. Just think about what mass adoption of nuclear energy can achieve. Even though nuclear energy only accounts for around 8% of the US, it provides more than 55% of the carbon free electricity to American households each year. Now imagine how much our carbon footprint can be reduced if we simply increase nuclear power generation. This is why Elon Musk, someone who has invested a lot of money into battery storage technologies, is still a very strong supporter of nuclear power technologies. And his support for nuclear energy isn't new. He simply isn't talking about it because it's the new trend. He's been vocally supportive of nuclear energy for more than a decade now. In a 2007 PBS interview, Elon Musk was very firm on the fact that we need to build more nuclear power plants and we need to build them fast. Musk says in this interview, we should build more nuclear power plants. I think that's a better way to generate energy than certainly a coal power plant or a natural gas power plant. One of the main reasons why Elon Musk is a strong supporter of nuclear power is because it's simply the most reliable carbon free method of electricity production that we have. While solar and wind energy play a really important role in the future of our energy generation mix, at the moment they are far too unreliable to run our entire electric grid. The reliability of energy generation source is measured through something known as capacity factor. This is basically the amount of time that a power source is actually producing electricity. Solar has an average capacity factor in the United States of around 24%. So 24% of the time, solar power is producing electricity. And wind fares a little bit better with around 34% capacity factor. Now, if we compare these capacity factors to that of nuclear energy with a capacity factor of around 93% on average, we start to understand why technology and innovation leaders across the world are rallying for nuclear energy. It's simply the most pragmatic way to producing clean electricity right now. Again, supporting nuclear energy doesn't necessarily mean we stop advancing renewable energy resources like wind and solar. They too have a really important part to play in our collective journey as a planet toward achieving net zero. But these technologies simply don't have the reliability and energy density that's required to meet our energy demands. Nuclear energy is clearly the way forward. And with the recent backdrop of the war in Ukraine and the energy crisis that Europe is facing, Elon Musk has continued to tweet and speak more openly about nuclear power. In fact, he has said on multiple occasions openly that Germany would not be facing an energy crisis that it's experiencing right now had it not closed down its nuclear power plants preemptively for the past decade. According to Bloomberg's data that was compiled from the International Atomic Energy Agency, Europe will be home to around 122 shutdown nuclear power plants by the end of 2022. It's quite alarming that a continent that is facing one of the world's worst energy crisis is purposefully 
completely turning off its nuclear power plants early. And these reasons are political in nature and not backed by science. Most of the reasons are actually fear-based. And Elon hasn't been afraid of calling out European countries as being a grave mistake for the continent. In a tweet, Elon Musk had this to say, hopefully it is now extremely obvious that Europe should restart dormant nuclear power stations and increase power outputs of existing ones. That is critical to national and international security. But Europe itself is divided when it comes to the topic of nuclear energy. The European Union wants to label investments in nuclear as green energy investments. But on the other hand, there is significant backlash from misguided groups in the European Union who say that this is the European Union being deceptive. The protesters call it greenwashing. So Europe has polarized views when it comes to nuclear energy. There is furious political opposition when it comes to nuclear energy. But on the flip side, there's also a growing realization that nuclear energy is the silver bullet to solve both our energy crisis and also our impending climate disaster. That brings us to the main challenge that nuclear energy faces. It's the dangerously notorious reputation of nuclear power plants. This is the main issue preventing large scale adoption of nuclear power across the world. The technology is here, but the political will simply isn't. Incidents at nuclear power facilities like Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, and Fukushima still carry a strong sense of fear and technological misunderstanding. Even though hundreds of nuclear power plants across the world are safely operating right now and have been safely operating for decades. Most of these power plants have been operational for several decades and safety systems and defense in depth within the technology makes them some of the safest technologies in the world. And TV shows like Chernobyl on HBO and Netflix Netflix documentaries like that on Three Mile Island don't really help when they dramatize and sensationalize these events that took place. I really enjoy them, but their large scale impact is quite horrible. Decades of fear mongering about nuclear power plants had sealed the fate of nuclear energy for years. Over the past few decades, we have seen funding for nuclear science significantly go down. We've also seen perfectly operational nuclear power plants decommissioned early and also newly built nuclear power plants never seeing the light of day. And people like Elon Musk realize this. They realize that nuclear power has a bad reputation, but he also realizes that a bad reputation can be changed with a strong reputation. You can change the hearts and minds of people through education and also willpower, something that I'm trying to do on this YouTube channel. In fact, Elon Musk has gone as far as to publicly tweet that he's willing to go to towns that host nuclear power plants and eat food that is locally grown there, just in an effort to prove that nuclear technologies are safe. Elon, hope you get to visit Pickering very soon. That's where I may or may not be. <laughs> in fact, according to Elon Musk, he's already done this after the 2011 Fukushima disaster in Japan. And Elon is adamant that the reputation that nuclear power plants have built is undeserving at best and cruel at worst. Banning nuclear energy means denying the world a very reliable and clean source of power that's needed at the moment. We have energy crises taking place and we also have a climate disaster that we we need to combat. In our current day, energy security is the lifeblood of a civilization. And so far, nuclear seems to be the only pragmatic way in which we can reliably and sustainably maintain energy security for a nation. While it's true that nuclear energy suffers from bad reputation and negative perception, which may cause hurdles along the way, it is something that can be fixed with a strong educational and awareness efforts on the topic. The scientific community needs to be more vocal when it comes to messaging around nuclear energy. Another extraordinary advocate for clean energy technologies is Bill Gates. Bill Gates is funding that clean energy future when it comes to nuclear power. And I really recommend checking out this video that I made on Bill Gates and his vision for nuclear power. Really appreciate your time watching this video and hope you enjoy the rest of the videos on my channel. Take care. Have a nice day. Bye.